Hello everybody, this is Mr. Momobot, and I'm back for another review, but I'm not going to review something new, not today. I'm going to take a look at the NECA AVPR Pred Alien. Why? I, I don't know, because I feel like it. Um, so... I believe these things came out around 2007, and uh, this is my first NECA figure. So, it's kind of weird because it's based on a creature from a kind of cruddy movie, but it's cool. So, it's a weird attachment to this thing, definitely. He looks awesome, or she, I don't know. Um, looks really awesome, though. NECA did so good at this thing. I mean, that's why I got it a long time ago at a Toys R Us when they actually used to be good. They suck now. That's why I'm trying to find comic stores that are good. But, this guy really stood out. And I don't think I saw the normal aliens there at the time. Um, so, yeah, this guy's awesome. So, uh, let's get on with, with the review. So, he, for articulation, his head can go very nicely up and down. Wow, a tremor just happened. Yeah, the tremor called Pippin, my cat. He just freaking knocked this place around. But yes, the head can kind of tilt actually. Uh, it's kind of close to the camera right now, but yeah. See, that's pretty cool. And it can go up and down pretty nicely, but it just won't turn to his left. It just won't go this way. So, that's a problem. I don't know why it does that. I guess it's the sculpt or something, but that'd be cool if it all could go all the way around because it's one of the best head uh, joints on a freaking alien still. Except with the dog alien stuff, it's pretty good. But that's the head. Arms go forward and. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Well. I just broke my freaking Pred Alien. On camera. Well. This sucks. Well, let's continue the review. Um. Technically, it would have went probably that far. That's about as far as it went until it broke. And a little down, probably. Not, maybe not that far. But, uh... God damn. And then it swivels here, and his hand swivels on both sides. Except this one's in a weird, you know, pose, so it's not as stretched out, so it's kind of awkward. I mean, I don't get it. That arm has never popped off. I mean, damn, it just broke off. I'm going to have to glue it on at a nice angle so that it doesn't fuck up. Or, um, sorry about my language. I'm just, I, my figure just broke, and this is my first figure. So, yeah. Um, then his legs move. His legs better not pop off. Uh, they are on a swivel course my most hated hip kind of joints but um, yeah there are swivels and it can rotate right there and the tail is bendy uh, it's a little too thick though that's it's kind of hard to pose it's usually on my figure it's like this so it can help him or her stand up or whatever um, so yeah uh, well, I'm not going to try recording this again because uh, that was, uh, 
That was interesting. Anyway, so, detail. Well, this figure was my first, probably most detailed thing I've had. I mean, I, I'm sure I've had a few cool looking stuff before, but in terms of figures, this is pretty darn good, because, uh, I don't know, the paint just looks awesome. You got this nice gun metal mostly around every, you know, like, it's kind of gray, but it's gun metal, so, yeah. Um, and then you got some highlights of brown, so you got you sa sandy kind of colors. Um, weird little orangish, brownish highlights here and there. Um, yeah, so, and he has the spots on him here and there, like on his shoulders. God damn it. <laughs> um, and uh, the sculpt is amazing. I mean, it's awesome. I just can't say. Well, I mean, I guess his ribs could be a little better looking, I guess. And the thing I have a gripe with the paint is uh, right here and here, there's obviously a split and the color changes. To a lighter brown so it looks a little retarded like that so it's not perfect but damn it's still good and uh, he came along with this base which both the uh, warrior and this guy came with unfortunately one of the bases broke for me so this is the only one I can use for him and there's a peg hole or peg stuck in his foot now forever but his back foot's still uh working so this helps him a little i think though i was just standing him up on his tail a minute ago so i don't know if i really need it but it helps up just a little more um ugh. so yeah this figure is very nicely detailed i really like the back look at the back man look at that it looks cool. Very deep shoulders. Kind of like the warrior, but I don't know, very thick. And these weird tube things are very unique to this character. So, yeah, this figure is really cool. Uh, I don't know if it would be worth picking. Honestly, it would be worth picking up nowadays, but I don't think any of these figures are worth over a hundred dollars or anything like that which is most likely what you'll find them for at least, or at least 50 bucks or something like that I don't think you should because NECA's gonna remake this guy they will inevitably we haven't seen him yet it's probably gonna be a while but he they're gonna remake him to be awesome and I cannot wait to see that they're also going to probably remake the warrior, too. Uh, that's going to be really easy, judging on how they already have a body for him, thanks to the first AVP uh, warriors. But, yeah. Uh, so, that this is really cool. And I can't wait to get a new one, especially since this just broke off, so I have even a bigger reason to get a new one. <sighs> um... Now, uh, NECA, if you're watching this, and I hope you are, I have a little suggestion for you that I would like to, um, well, suggest <laughs> for the remake of this guy. Now, back in the day, you guys made two variants, I do believe. One with the open mandibles and one with the clothes which is the one I got it was less it was like less flaring or whatever flary it just I don't know I like it closed but and then again I would like the option to have it open too so what I might suggest is you guys make it where when uh, the new one releases we can detach these because it's 
quite a wide head. So, I'm sure there's you can make peg holes right here, just like the Predator Blades, and make it where we can detach this and put on the open ones. That would be sweet. Like, really cool. And of course, I know you're already going to add the articulation and everything, uh, but the detail has got to be on par with the old one, if not better. Because I'll be a little disappointed, honestly, if it's not as good. At least the same details. I know the material you're going to use are, is probably going to make it look a little different, but the paint apps on this guy is really good. And I want that to be on the new ones. So please, uh, hopefully you take my suggestion with the mandible thing, because I, I thought that would be cool, and I think it is possible. So, uh, yeah. And, of course, definitely the paint. Uh, I would like to see that. So, uh, well, <laughs> I guess, uh, well, let's do a size comparison real quick. So, here's a normal old Predator figure from Predators. And there's the Predalien. As you can see, the Predalien, you know, is, uh, tall, I guess. I mean, he stacks up okay against the Predators, and obviously he's good against the, uh, let me grab, let me grab one of the Wolf Preds. Okay, let's compare him to the actual accurate figure. There we go. As you can see, he's taller, but that's because these guys are always crouching. I could stand him up just a little, and he'd be taller, probably. But, that's why I'm so excited for the new one, because it might be a little bigger, actually. I don't know. Uh, it might be fine the way it is. But, the articulation will just make it where we can do so many awesome poses. Just like in the movie, even though the movie sucked. But, obviously, the creatures were cool, so that's kind of why we we're watching the movie anyway. Um, and I cannot wait till they remake this guy, too. I mean, it's going to blow the freaking SH Monster Arts one out of the water. Because it's going to be 20 bucks. And if it has the same detail as this, or better, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. <sighs> I would have suggested the mandible thing on um, this guy, too. Because that would be cool if on um, unmasked predators... You can have it where you can change out the uh, mandibles or mouth. But that's a little bigger. See, and I know it's not as practical coming with a, another head, honestly, unless it's an ultimate figure. But even then, yeah, I think that's why you didn't do that with the AVP Scar Predator too much, I think. Uh, or on some other reasons. But, yeah. Uh, I would love to see that whole mandible thing with this guy because I think it's entirely possible. It's not like you have to change out the head or anything like that. They just need to be firm enough so that we don't knock them off all the time. That's the only problems I can see with it. But yeah, uh, well, I guess that's all for my uh, video. I just wanted to take a look at this, old, uh, this guy because, you know, he's cool. And his arm broke off, and I can't believe that. Um, though, the joint is actually still in there, and it can move. So maybe I can fix it in such a way it can still move. Either way. Wait. This looks, this joint looks familiar. This looks like the one from the, uh, from the umbrellas I use. There's these little ball things on some umbrellas that I get, that I use for ball joints, and this looks like it. Huh. Weird. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah. Stay. Anyway. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys once more very soon.